Are you tired of feeling drained and surrounded by negativity? Negative energies can infiltrate our lives and affect our well-being. In this video, we will explore 10 powerful methods recommended by Buddhism to shield ourselves from negative energies and cultivate inner peace and harmony. Lesson 1. Embrace mindfulness and meditation. At the heart of Buddhism lies the practice of mindfulness. By being fully present in the moment and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we gain insight and clarity into our inner workings. Through regular meditation, we can develop a deeper understanding of our reactions to negative energies and learn to detach from them. This enables us to respond with wisdom and compassion. Embracing mindfulness and meditation is a powerful strategy that can significantly help in protecting oneself from negative energies. Buddhism places great importance on these practices as they allow individuals to cultivate awareness and understanding of their inner selves. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, observing and accepting our thoughts, emotions and sensations without judgment. This practice helps us become more attuned to our inner workings and allows us to recognize any negative energies that may be affecting us. By regularly practicing meditation, we can deepen our understanding of how negative energies impact us and learn to detach from them. Through meditation, we develop a heightened level of self-awareness and gain insight into the origin of our reactions to these energies. Meditation also enables us to cultivate a sense of inner calm and peace, creating a protective barrier against negative influences. As we become more centered and stable in our thoughts and emotions, we develop the ability to respond to negative energies with wisdom and compassion. Practicing mindfulness and meditation helps us strengthen our spiritual connection and develop a more harmonious relationship with ourselves and the world around us. By nurturing qualities such as compassion, love and understanding, we become less vulnerable to negative energies and can foster a positive and resilient mindset. Embracing mindfulness and meditation as part of our daily lives empowers us to protect ourselves from negative energies. These practices allow us to develop self-awareness, detachment and inner peace, enabling us to respond to negativity with wisdom and compassion. By incorporating these strategies into our lives, we can cultivate a more positive and resilient mindset, creating a protective shield against negative influences. Lesson 2. Foster Optimistic Thinking Buddhism teaches that our thoughts shape our reality. By cultivating positive and optimistic thinking, we can counteract negative energies that may are easy from within or around use. This can be achieved by nurturing gratitude, focusing on the good in ourselves and others, and letting go of negative self-talk or limiting beliefs. Fostering optimistic thinking is a strategy in Buddhism to protect oneself from negative energies. Buddhism emphasizes the idea that our thoughts have a profound impact on our reality. By cultivating positive and optimistic thinking, individuals can counteract and repel negative energies that may arise both internally and externally. To apply this strategy, one can start by nurturing gratitude and appreciating the positive aspects of life. This involves acknowledging the good things that exist within oneself and recognizing the virtues and positive qualities in others. By focusing on these positive aspects, individuals are more likely to create a positive mental environment that shields them from negative energies. Letting go of negative self-talk and limiting beliefs is crucial in fostering an optimistic mindset. Buddhist teachings encourage individuals to become aware of their negative thoughts and judgments about themselves, others and the world. By acknowledging these thoughts and gradually releasing them, individuals can free themselves from the grip of negativity. 
This process of letting go allows for the cultivation of more positive and empowering beliefs. The strategy of fostering optimistic thinking in Buddhism aims to protect individuals from negative energies by cultivating gratitude, focusing on positivity, and letting go of negative thoughts and beliefs. Individuals create a mental framework that repels negativity and shapes a more positive reality. This approach contributes to building resilience and maintaining a state of inner peace and harmony. Lesson 3. Surround yourself with positivity. The company we keep significantly influences our energy. Buddhism encourages us to surround ourselves with positive, supportive individuals who share similar values. By connecting with like-minded people and building a supportive community, we create an environment that fosters positive energies and helps shield us from negativity. In Buddhism, it is believed that the company we keep greatly impacts our energy and overall well-being. To protect ourselves from negative energies, Buddhism encourages us to surround ourselves with positive, supportive individuals who share similar values. The strategy of surrounding ourselves with positivity involves connecting with like-minded people and building a supportive community. By doing so, we create an environment that fosters positive energies and helps shield us from negativity. When we surround ourselves with positive individuals, their optimistic mindset, uplifting energy and supportive nature can have a profound impact on our own energy. Being in the company of people who share similar values and principles can help us stay focused on our personal growth and prevent negative energies from affecting us. These positive connections can be found within various Buddhist communities, spiritual circles, mindfulness groups, or even among close friends and family members who align with our values. It is important to actively seek out relationships that promote positivity, respect, and kindness. By cultivating a supportive network, we not only protect ourselves from negative energies, but also create an atmosphere that nurtures personal growth, compassion, and peace of mind. This strategy acts as a shield against negative influences and helps us maintain a positive outlook amidst life's challenges. By surrounding ourselves with positivity, we implement a crucial strategy highlighted in Buddhism to protect ourselves from negative energies. By seeking out and building connections with positive, supportive people who share similar values, we create an environment that fosters positive energies and shields us from negativity. Lesson 4. Cultivate Loving-Kindness Loving-kindness is an essential practice to protect ourselves and others from negative energies. By cultivating feelings of love, compassion and empathy towards ourselves and all beings, we develop a shield of positive energy that repels negativity. Regularly engaging in loving-kindness meditation can strengthen our capacity for compassion and transform the way we interact with the world. Cultivating loving-kindness is a powerful strategy to protect oneself from negative energies, according to Buddhism. This practice involves directing feelings of love, compassion, and empathy towards oneself and all beings. By doing so, individuals develop a shield of positive energy that acts as a repellent against negativity. When we actively engage in loving-kindness meditation, we strengthen our ability to be compassionate and transform the way we connect with the world. This practice helps us develop a deeper sense of understanding and empathy towards others, promoting positive interactions and reducing the impact of negative energies. By regularly nurturing this mindset, we create a protective barrier around ourselves and others. Negative energies find it difficult to penetrate this shield of love and compassion as it acts as a powerful antidote to negativity. This allows us to stay more centered, balanced and unaffected by harmful influences. Cultivating loving-kindness serves as both a preventive and a restorative measure. 
It not only safeguards us from the harmful effects of negativity, but also contributes to the healing and transformation of our own well-being and the well-being of those around us. Ultimately, it empowers us to navigate through life with greater resilience, positivity, and inner peace. Lesson 5. Harness the power of mantras and chants. Buddhism recognizes the transformative power of sound. Repeating sacred mantras and chants can purify our minds, connect us to the divine, and shield us from negative energies. Mantras can evoke powerful, positive energies when recited with sincerity and focus. In Buddhism, the practice of harnessing the power of mantras and chants serves as a means to protect oneself from negative energies. Mantras and chants are considered sacred sounds that have the ability to purify the mind and establish a connection with the divine. One commonly used mantra in Buddhism is Om Mani Padme Hum, known as the mantra of compassion. By reciting this mantra, individuals aim to cultivate feelings of compassion towards themselves and others, creating a positive and loving energy that acts as a shield against negativity. Similarly, the mantra Om Atare Tutare Ture Soha, meaning to you, embodiment of all the Buddhas, is specifically associated with liberation from fear. As individuals repeat this mantra, they seek to develop courage and overcome their fears, ultimately protecting themselves from negative energies that may arise from feelings of fear and insecurity. The effectiveness of these mantras and chants lies in the sincerity and focus with which they are recited. Through dedicated practice, individuals can tap into the transformative power of sound, creating a protective barrier against negative energies and fostering a state of inner peace and well-being. By incorporating the practice of reciting sacred mantras and chants, individuals can create powerful positive energies within themselves. These energies act as a shield against negative forces, working to protect them from harmful influences and fostering a sense of spiritual and emotional well-being. Lesson 6. Utilize Sacred Objects In Buddhism, sacred objects such as prayer beads, statues and amulets can serve as powerful symbols of protection. These objects can become focal points for our practice and remind us of our spiritual intentions. By incorporating these sacred items into our daily lives, we deepen our connection to positive energies and cultivate a sense of inner security. Sacred objects in Buddhism serve as powerful symbols of protection, reminding us of our spiritual path and fostering a sense of inner security. Possessing and using prayer beads, for example, can assist in focusing our attention during meditation or repetitive prayers, allowing us to channel positive energy and find solace in our spiritual practice. Similarly, statues of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas can serve as visual reminders of enlightened qualities and inspire us to cultivate those qualities within ourselves. Their presence can help dispel negative energies and create an atmosphere of calm and serenity. Amulets, on the other hand, are small objects believed to carry spiritual or magical properties that safeguard individuals from harm or negative influences. By wearing or keeping amulets close to us, we establish a sense of protection and defense against negative energies. Overall, incorporating sacred objects into our daily lives in accordance with Buddhist beliefs can help protect us from negative energies. These objects act as focal points for our practice, reinforcing positive intentions and fostering a deeper connection to spiritual energies. They serve as reminders to stay centered, cultivate positivity, and maintain a sense of inner security amidst the challenges of life. Lesson 7. Purify your environment. According to Buddhism, the physical space we occupy can accumulate negative energies, which can have a detrimental effect on our well-being. To counteract this, 
Buddhism recommends creating an environment that fosters positivity and tranquility. One way to purify the energy in our living spaces is through the burning of incense. Incense has long been used in various cultures and religious practices as a means to cleanse the atmosphere and create a more peaceful ambience. The fragrance and smoke produced by burning incense are believed to have purifying properties that help to eliminate negative energies and promote a sense of calmness and serenity. Another approach to purify the environment is through the practice of feng shui. Feng shui is an ancient Chinese art and science that aims to harmonize individuals with their surroundings by arranging and organizing furniture, decorations, and other elements within a space. Feng Shui seeks to enhance positive energy flow and create a balanced atmosphere. This can contribute to a more harmonious living environment and support spiritual growth. By regularly engaging in practices like burning incense and implementing Feng Shui principles, individuals can effectively purify their environment and create a space that is conducive to positive energies. This, in turn, can help protect themselves from negative energies and foster a sense of tranquility, promoting overall well-being and spiritual development. Lesson 8. Steer clear of harmful behaviors. To protect ourselves from negative energies, Buddhism emphasizes the importance of avoiding harmful behaviors that perpetuate suffering. This encompasses refraining from lying, stealing, harmful speech, intoxication, and engaging in harmful sexual activities. By aligning our actions with ethical principles, we minimize the negative consequences that may arise and cultivate a clear conscience. According to Buddhism, negative energies and suffering can be perpetuated by engaging in actions that cause harm to oneself and others. Thus, to protect ourselves, Buddhism emphasizes the importance of steering clear of such behaviors. The strategy revolves around refraining from specific harmful behaviors. Buddhism encourages practicing truthfulness and avoiding falsehood. By being honest in our words and actions, we promote clarity and authenticity, reducing negative energies that may arise from deceit. Buddhism advocates for respecting the property and boundaries of others by refraining from stealing or taking what is not rightfully ours. This helps us avoid generating negative karmic consequences and contributes to a harmonious environment. Buddhism promotes the practice of right speech, which involves abstaining from gossip, slander, harsh language, and any form of speech that may cause harm or discord. By speaking kindly and mindfully, we avoid spreading negativity and contribute to a more peaceful atmosphere. Buddhism advises against the excessive consumption of substances such as alcohol or drugs that cloud the mind and lead to harmful consequences. By maintaining a clear and sober state of mind, we can make better decisions and reduce the likelihood of engaging in negative behaviors. Buddhism encourages engaging in sexual activities that are consensual, respectful, and within the boundaries of ethical principles. By avoiding actions that cause harm to oneself or others in the context of sexual relationships, we foster healthy and harmonious connections. By aligning our actions with these ethical principles, Buddhism suggests that we can minimize the negative consequences that may arise from engaging in harmful behaviors. By doing so, we cultivate a clear conscience, contribute to a positive environment, and protect ourselves from the negative energies associated with suffering. Lesson 9. Find solace in the Triple Gem. Finding solace in the Triple Gem is a strategy derived from Buddhism that helps individuals protect themselves from negative energies. The Triple Gem represents three essential elements, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. First and foremost, the Buddha refers to the Enlightened One, symbolizing spiritual enlightenment, wisdom, and compassion. By seeking refuge in the Buddha, 
individuals attain a sense of guidance and support. The Buddha's teachings and philosophies offer profound insights into understanding the nature of negative energies and provide guidance on how to navigate through them. Secondly, the Dharma encompasses the teachings of Buddhism. By studying and engaging with these teachings, individuals gain valuable knowledge about ways to cultivate positive energy, mindfulness, and equanimity. The Dharma serves as a valuable tool to counteract negative energies, offering practical methods and principles for harmonizing one's mind and maintaining inner peace. Lastly, the Sangha represents the community of fellow practitioners who support and encourage each other on the spiritual path. Engaging with wise mentors and spiritual friends from the Sangha helps individuals develop a strong support network. These connections provide a safe space for sharing experiences, seeking advice and fostering a sense of belonging. The Sangha reinforces the understanding that no one is alone in dealing with negative energies and provides collective strength to withstand their influence. By immersing oneself in the Triple Gem, individuals can find solace amidst negative energies. The teachings of the Buddha offer wisdom for real life and guidance. The Dharma provides practical tools for inner transformation and the Sangha offers a supportive community. Together, these elements empower individuals to protect themselves from negative energies, cultivate positive states of mind and discover peace and tranquility in their lives. Lesson 10 Embrace the virtue of generosity. One of Buddhism's fundamental virtues is generosity. By cultivating a giving heart and practicing acts of kindness, we create positive karmic energy that shields us from negativity. Generosity can be expressed through donations, volunteering, or simply offering a helping hand to those in need. This selfless act of giving not only benefits others, but also strengthens our own spiritual well-being. When we practice generosity, it can take various forms. We can donate money, resources, or our time to charitable causes, organizations, or individuals in need. By doing so, we extend a helping hand to those who are less fortunate, benefiting them and uplifting our own spiritual well-being. The act of giving selflessly creates a positive ripple effect in our lives. It helps us shift our focus from negativity and self-centeredness towards compassion and interconnectedness. As we engage in acts of generosity, we develop a greater sense of empathy and understanding, fostering a more positive outlook on life. The practice of generosity helps us detach ourselves from greed, selfish desires, and attachments to material possessions. By letting go and sharing what we have, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and contentment, eliminating the negative energies associated with jealousy, possessiveness, and a scarcity mentality. By embracing the virtue of generosity, it acts as a protective shield against negative energies. It promotes positivity, compassion, and selflessness. Through our acts of giving, we not only contribute to the well-being of others, but also strengthen our own spiritual growth and resilience against negativity. In conclusion, by incorporating these teachings and practices offered by Buddhism into our lives, we empower ourselves with the tools to protect against negative energies. Embracing mindfulness, fostering optimistic thinking, surrounding ourselves with positivity, cultivating loving kindness, harnessing the power of mantras, utilizing sacred objects, purifying our environment, avoiding harmful behaviors, finding solace in the triple gem, and embracing the virtue of generosity can transform our lives and nurture a sense of inner peace and harmony. If you found these insights valuable, don't miss out on more practical wisdom for real life's challenges. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode on wisdom for real life. Let's continue growing together 
and exploring the path to a more mindful and fulfilling existence. Remember, real wisdom makes a real difference. Subscribe now, join as a member, and stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, stay inspired.